Wow. Normally Fridays are calm, but it was Friday the 13th this week, so it was a bloody, bloody day. <laughs> Which of course means I went discount shopping and made four huge buys on Friday, and our Discord lit up with buys from our members too, including Palantir, SoFi, Tattooed Chef, to DM, I believe Lemonade and Wish were discussed as well, and many other stocks. Comment down below if you bought any stocks on Friday and if you want a dedicated video on stocks like SoFi and others that we have been buying up recently on all this weakness. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today we needed to talk about Palantir stock as it ran up big after earnings on this bloody Friday. And since you were subscribed because you like the truth without the hype, I will give you the truth on where Palantir stock is really going and what I'm doing with my price targets for Palantir stock and a warning too for all investors just right up, you gently tap that like button. That's all that I asked for to help kind of caress the algorithm a little bit. And was that weird? I kind of felt like that was weird. I don't know. Moving on. So there are a ton of videos out there covering the ins and outs of the earnings call, so I won't regurgitate all of that here for you. But let me just say this. It was a great earnings call and proved everything we have been discussing about this stock for almost eight months now. But what really blew me away was the guidance moving forward. And can you guys hear the rain? I mean, this rain is ridiculous right now, but I gotta get this video filmed. That guidance is something tangible I can attach a value to and not just a future project that we hope brings in revenue. So that guidance is what has me the most excited. I mean, I'm kind of close to saying they're actually ahead of schedule on becoming that sneaky 3X beast that we have been discussing. So you better buy it now before it's too late and it's marching to $40, $50 and more, right? E I don't think so. I mean, it may run up more, but it will come back to a more reasonable valuation. But Luke, if I don't FOMO into the stock now, I will miss the rocket ship to the moon because everybody is saying after the earnings call, it will run straight back up past the all time highs. I'm sorry if a hype channel told you that, but I honestly don't think that's true. And even if it does shoot up real high, I don't think the stock will stay anywhere close to that number. Valuations matter. And I heard the same line of thinking in February when the stock was at $40 plus and everybody was FOMOing into the stock. And I got blasted for putting my price target at $21 at the time because I was, you know, a bear or whatever the narrative was. From my analysis at the time, it had simply run out too far, which happens to grow stocks, and I refuse to overpay by that much for any stock, even if I think the stock is great. So even though nobody thought it was coming back down to $21 way back then, everybody was able to add at $21, and then again at $19, and at $18, and even at $16 on that fateful day in May. And I even added more last month at $21 again, so there has been opportunity after opportunity to add this stock, and there will be opportunities in the future as well for those that do their analysis and put in the work on evaluation for the stock. And yes, I did buy at all those levels and all my buys are documented and pushed out in real time to the Market Insiders private group, which also has my price targets for all the stocks that I own or the stocks that I wanna own and three courses and a ton more we will discuss at the end, or you can check out my website in the pinned comment for all the details. And you get to see this handsome guy in something other than this sweater. That, that's a promise I can make you for the private group. So if it's not going to be $40 or $50 or more, then where is the stock going? Well, I personally think it will continue to run for the next quarter and will finally hit resistance at around $30 mark or so, but will eventually settle down below that mark. But remember, this is still a growth stock, so it's not going to be a smooth line all the way up there. It will have periods where it looks like it's going to the moon if it breaks the $30 mark, and other periods where it'll look like it is crashing back down to under $20. Don't be fooled by either narrative. As it approaches that $30 mark, it will start to look overvalued in my opinion, and anything close to my previous price target after this incredible earnings call will be a steal in my opinion as well, but we may not get to see it under $20 again. And speaking of price targets, I think I may need to adjust mine up. I reevaluate each one after every earnings call, but rarely do I see a need to actually adjust them up each time. But in this case, with this performance, and more importantly, guidance being adjusted up so dramatically, I need to adjust my price target for Palantir as it demands a higher valuation. Executives typically do not adjust guidance that aggressively because Wall Street will hammer you for not just one, but a few quarters afterwards if you adjust guidance up and then miss your targets. So most companies sandbag in their guidance, and I know I have heard lots of people who feel that Palantir always sandbags a lot, 
So that signals to me that even though the guidance adjusted was massive, it may be even bigger than what they're signaling. So I will be adjusting my price target up accordingly after looking at all the numbers, doing the analysis and putting in the work. I do not just look at a chart and choose a random number that looks about right. That's not how you avoid buying at twice the price you should like what happened to a lot of people in February. Do the work on the stock, fit it in with your plan for your portfolio and you will get a fair price for you. But there is one thing I should warn you about that could derail all this. And that would be the Fed indicating they will raise rates earlier than expected. If we see that happen, it will hurt the entire market in the short term. Now we'll discuss why this is good in just a second, but it will especially hurt new growth stocks like Palantir, and I could see that being one of the scenarios where we see it back under $20 again. Once again, money will flee to the safer place, even though they are significantly overvalued right now, delaying the inevitable run up for Palantir. But for those with the right mindset, it just means an even bigger opportunity over the long one, over the long run, if I could talk, over the long run. So if you are long like I am, I will happily go discount shopping and be patient and wait a little bit longer for the stock to reach those higher valuations that it deserves. Remember, this would be a short-term issue, not a long-term problem, and has nothing really to do with Palantir as a business. And Wall Street thinks short-term, not long-term, and is going to act accordingly. So the good news is, if you are long Palantir, Short-term sell-offs from Wall Street provide incredible discount shopping opportunities for those of us with discipline and a defined plan. And if you don't have a defined plan for all your stocks, or you don't know how to create a plan or really even value a stock, we can help you with all your planning and everything else as there is a course in the Market Insiders private group dedicated to that, along with creating an infinite money loop and other courses available as well, along with live weekly Q and A's where you can ask me absolutely anything, a super great Discord group full of awesome people, tons of exclusive videos, downloads, and more, all for the price of a meal for two at McDonald's. Consider it a cheap date that went really well. So check that out. It's the first link in the description in the pinned comment. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.